We need to hurry. If there really isn't a Swan Coven in the area, we need to get help. I have comrades at the 7th Street port town, and they'll be able to back us up before anything else happens. I just hope it's just one coven. But I don't understand it. How could they be even way out here? They're only supposed to exist in my homeland. Nothing can get past the Tempest walls, not without a heavy airship. Come on, keep up. You don't want to get lost here in the... Ranger, stay low and don't make any loud sounds. I'll come right to you. Iliwanag ang landas. Hang in there, Ranger. I'm coming to you now. Are you hurt anywhere? Can you move? Okay, good. Because I think I broke a rib or two, and I can't heal it up until we get to town. The horses. No, they're dead. Throat slit. And their ankles, too. Oh, it felt pretty hard. Okay. Ranger, I need you to listen to me. We're surrounded by something else that shouldn't be here. In my home, they're called Diwatang Duwo. In the common tongue, known as blood fairies. Do not misunderstand me. They're not friendly ones. They're small, they're fast, and they like to make things bleed. As long as there's a fire coming out of this crystal in my hand, they'll stay away. But we need to get moving and get out of the forest. No doubt those things will follow us for a bit, and waiting for it to die out. I'm gonna need to lean on you for a bit, at least until I can get my strength back. Is that all right with you, Ranger? Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's get moving. No need to be afraid. This crystal can last a fair bit. And the end of the forest is only maybe a few minutes away. <laughs> you know, my trainer once told me it helps to chat when we're stuck like this in this sort of situation. didn't make much sense to me either at the time, but now I think I understand. Huh? Am I married? <laughs> ah, don't make me laugh. Ah, well, that's one way to start a conversation. No, I'm not. Not even a lover. Being a traveling knight, it's kind of difficult to make a relationship work. Even when I get home, I mostly just continue training and visit my family. And then I see what my brother is up to. He is uh, a bit unusual, but highly talented. He creates things, you see, that make people's lives easier. 
including mine. What about you? I see. You've been a farmhand all your life, and now you want something different. You want to do more. Is that why you wanted to train to become a hunter back there? <laughs> I guess you can say you're a lot like me. I know, you don't believe it, seeing the gambeson and the rest of my armor, but underneath it all, I'm just another person. <laughs> ah, ah. You say that, but look where you are now. A few weeks ago, you could barely even draw your arrows consecutively. But now, you're shooting just like a Robin Hood. Before you realize it, you're even carrying me through the forest, surrounded by flying pixies with razor bl- Ah, right. Normally, I'm, I'm supposed to be talking about something else other than the situation we're in right now. Ah, my apologies. Oh, you mean this fireball in my hand? This must be your first time seeing magic. No. You knew a wizard who came every once in a while to help grow the crops, you say? Where did I learn it? And why isn't it burning me? Okay, okay. Hang on a second. I can only answer one question at a time. I learned it back home, in training. And the reason it's not burning me is because of this gauntlet. You see these runes? There's a lot of technical stuff, even I don't, even I don't understand, to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves using these crystals. But I'll teach you when we get out of here. You're going to need it to take on the Coven leader. But don't worry. I'll be there with you, and I'll protect you. That's a promise. I know, it's weird coming out of me right now. But I'm gonna feel better in a bit. Okay, I think I'm starting to feel a little better right now. Thanks for lending me your shoulder. Stay close. I can hear... I can hear them. They're just waiting. Look! Over there! Can you see it, Ranger? The lights of the port town. We're almost out of the forest... Oh. Right. <laughs> You're not hallucinating. Um, yes. There are several galleon ships floating in the air over it. Actually, if we can just find a clearing, maybe one of them can fly over us and get us out of here. Oh, no. The crystal is burning out. We need to move, now! Sunugin ang mga kalaban! Ranger, get down! Kapitan! Rojas! Welcome back, sir. I saw your crystal fire from a distance and figured you'd need help. I appreciate it. So, you all know. We found out that there were Diwatang Dugo in the forest and we started setting up a perimeter. What's going on, Capitan? Why are there monsters from Maharlika all the way out here? I don't know either. 
but the people back at the farming villages are going to need a lot more help than we thought. We found an Aswang in their woods as well. Aswang too? That can't be. We need to send a message back to Colonel Banyaga and let them know what happened. Martial restrictions be damned. <laughs> I figured you'd say that, Capitan. I already sent for help this morning. You look like you've been injured. Did you fall off your horse and into a rock? <sighs> Do me a favor, Rojas. Don't write that in the report. It doesn't sound very heroic. Anyway, the ranger and I will head to the infirmary. We'll be taking some men with us to the village once we recover. Understood. Come on, let's get to town where it's safe. Come on, ranger. Let's go. <laughs> 